altered and, uh, and refreshed. And uh, sorry about the heat, it is a bit hot today. Um, so we'll leave the doors open. Um, just bear in mind there's some background noise, so just do um, that. Education spots. Okay. It's, it's good that we have so many new guests because we have someone to educate you on all things Toastmasters. Um, so without further ado, let me welcome to the stage Daniel Jacobs. Good evening, everyone. I thought it would be a great opportunity to talk to you tonight about what Toastmasters offers. So, when you join Toastmasters, you pay an amount, and the club treasurer should be able to tell you how much that amount is for the year's membership. I'll get back to you But what do you get for that money? So, uh, we obviously know about this room, and you get the uh, You know, we've had some people talk about planning for speeches and being able to do a speech that they know very well at work. That was my situation. I'm an engineer at work, so when I was asked to talk about something technical, I was planning for doing that. But when something went pen shaped, what do I do now? So tonight I walked in, it wasn't set up, you know what? You move on, you roll with the punches. So for me, that's one thing I've learned. And hopefully tonight it doesn't go well. <coughs> Toastmaster resources. So we'll have a look at club resources, the things we get at the club itself. Um, the Toastmaster website, if you haven't been to the website, we'll just look at that very quickly. Uh, other clubs, I know I'm John has been plugging other clubs, so hopefully we'll all do turn up for this club's next meeting. Um, advanced speakers clubs, those that are um, those available. Speech engagement, skills development, so things we can do outside of Toastmasters, but we should do in office uh, for speaking. So hopefully it's something within here that we can all uh, go for. So the first thing is Epson Speakers itself. So if you Google Epson Speakers, if people want to know a little bit about it, I think that might be how some people have got to know about us, Toastmasters in general, but then also uh, just uh, Googling Toastmasters. We're on epsonspeakers.co.uk, you can do that on the website. So that's quite a handy reference if someone wants to know. Tell me a little bit more about Toastmasters. Where can I go? You can just uh, point, in, uh, point into that. Facebook or social media. Um, in, a, in a couple of senses, we do have a Facebook site. It probably does need a little bit of a refresh. Uh, but we found that, you know, we've got some ideas as to things that we want to do. Um, people who volunteer to put their speeches on YouTube, that might be one. Um, but looking at Facebook, in terms of the speakers' groups out there, and, and YouTube, I haven't mentioned that as a specific thing, uh, but there's some wonderful clubs out there that have been running for a long time, Advanced speech, Speakers Clubs, and they put their speeches on YouTube. You can go and have a look at that. You, know, you can get some inspiration. I'm doing my first speech, I'm doing my 10th speech. What does the C10 speech look like? If you go to YouTube, you can see that there. That is very useful if you are doing a competition or if you're wanting to practice some evaluation. All of that. Uh, is quite useful. And then obviously TED Talks. I haven't yet met someone in person who's done a TED Talk. It's my ambition to do one one day. Uh, but TED Talks the, the, themselves, the TED Speeches, are really good. I've not, not seen a bad one. Um, they, they do tend to be quite uh, Club meetings, of course, we do come along. Here. So these club meetings, you know, we do socialise, we do drink tea and, tea and coffee. Yeah, but if you find someone who speaks well, who you want to aspire to speak as well as have a word with them. I mean, don't, don't talk to them. Uh, very often people walk in here as new speakers, and certainly I did. I saw speakers who were fantastic. I thought, my goodness, you know, will, will I ever achieve that? Uh, but you don't see that person necessarily how they started when they first walked in. And I think it's that that you can learn from. You can learn from other people at, uh, at the meetings. Toastmaster magazine, we get this monthly. Uh, it might just be, oh, here we go, and John uses it. Very useful as a fan, if you can <laughs> It does also have other uses in there. Uh, it is very American, um, but within that, that means there's lots of training that they talk about. There are people who talk about clubs from Bangladesh and South Africa and South America. People who talk about their own journeys and how Toastmasters can help them. So I, I really do find some really good, interesting uh, topics within that. There are some other resources within the magazine that get ad advertised. 
Um, obviously, some of those, you know, they, they are for profit, some of them, so it might be speakers' courses or so on that you can get. But it's all, all available within um, the Toastmasters magazine. Our club also has its own magazine, Speakeasy, comes out monthly. And our grand matriarch, Jude, is in here tonight. But she's the editor of the Speakeasy magazine, and it's all of us who contribute to that. So inevitably, if you, when, you, when you do read that, um, you, you will find that there's, you know, some of us have contributed. I'm sure Jude wouldn't mind me saying that if there's something that you wanted to say, something that you've had an experience of speaking, part of your journey of becoming a better speaker, she would love for you to just put some words down um, for the Speakeasy magazine. And I think all of us would like to hear that too. You know, so, um, or read that piece as well. So it's always nice to, to pick up on where people's personal journeys have, have brought them from. Your mentor. You get a mentor in the club when you join. There'll be someone who's hopefully a better speaker or a better experienced speaker, or someone who's at least been here for a bit longer, knows the Toastmaster system. And this is the person that you get to, to use, you get to pick their brains as much as what you want or don't want to. That person's there to help you. So that will be someone that you uh, get assigned to. And you can't have more than one. You know, if you find someone that you respect as a speaker, you know, go and have a chat with them. You might well find that, you know, you, you might have more than one mentor. <coughs> Absolutely no problem with that. And then club officers. So we do have club officers. Um, within being a club officer, there is training attached to that specifically. Um, I'm, I've had some treasurer training, so hopefully finances so there is the uh, that is the committee. So at the bottom of your um, meeting sheet, that is the, the market crew of the club and the website. So it's toastmasters.org resources. So that's what the website looks like. Typically, like that. it does scroll through. Having learned by trial and error, I won't try and do a live login. So this is a screenshot of the uh, website. And if you click on that, it gives you who we are. It gives, there's lots of things about the history of Toastmasters, where does it come from, um, membership. And there's, these resources change. So there's, you know, if you log into the website today, if you log in next week, there'll be, there'll be different stories, there'll be different things that go on. So it's quite a good website in terms of the content that gets made within it. So club meeting roles, how to join, sponsor a club. All of that info is at the top there, so I appreciate it might be a bit small. Uh, but the education program, contests that we run, resources. So this uh, presentation I put together, I've been writing for another presentation that's available uh, for us. So there's an education programs, speaker tips, video library. All of that is available for us. And there's a search for resources. Uh, you can become an accredited speaker. This is um, something which is offered by Toastmasters, so as well as having the distinguished Toastmaster and <coughs> advanced leadership bronze and so on, you can actually become an accredited speaker as well. And I think that would be quite useful for those people who have ambitions to become professional speakers. <coughs> the manual, so when you join uh, Toastmasters, part of your initial membership fee is a pack of manuals. It's, it's quite a comprehensive, thick set of stuff. Uh, but there are other ones over there, and you can buy the whole lot for $75. You have your own, that's me. Uh, shows you where you're at. Um, my details are sadly blurred there, I was hoping I'd get money sent in the post or something, but it shows you where you've been, what you've done, um, sponsorship, history, things that you've done. So it's one handy reference you can go to, you can find out all about your um, Toastmasters journey. The leadership track, so how you get to the leadership <coughs> thing, so you start off as a new, new member, you go through to, you complete both those things, you can be distinguished Toastmaster. But your roles is you fill them in and you send that information and Toastmasters keeps track of that. So other clubs, uh, just to make, quickly mention other clubs, great tool, uh, you can when you join this club, you can obviously visit other clubs, you might have some roles at other clubs, um, but if you wanted to fully partake, in another cup of then I think you might have to pay another um, membership fee. You do gain different perspective, you do support other clubs, um, you get more speaking and evaluation uh, opportunities, um, and evaluation target speakers, so if you have a competition for evaluation speakers, I think that's quite a brave role to undertake. You get yourself dissected and evaluated over and over. 
Uh, but I think that sharing that we have between each other, it is part of the Toastmasters spirit, it is part of us supporting each other. Um, Advanced Speakers Clubs, we do have some of them, particularly in London. Um, they are to people who are obviously, uh, you might say, Advanced Speakers and above. Um, really good, really sharp place to practice. And we do have clubs in French and, French and Spanish, I think, in London. Uh, club officer training, I've, I've alluded to that. Um, that's uh, quite useful for getting particular things relevant to the membership goals. Uh, speaking engagements, we've got an arrangement with the Rotary Club, um, with also with the, the Reed School, where you can go and speak, uh, get a bit of experience to afternoon speeches. You know, we do typically do quite short speeches, you have to about 10 minutes. Um, you can do up to about 45 minutes at the Rotary. Uh, businesses, Chamber of Commerce, or any opportunity where really it comes your way. So, if you see people in London out with a TV camera, feel free to go and <laughs> uh, Skills development. We do have coaches. Some, some of our speakers, Charlie Wachowski and others, are coaches. Um, we do get speaker coaches as well, who will give you sort of one on one training. Uh, Input training. So, these are uh, within London. If you go and look at Sprout Ideas, it's got a Facebook site. Uh, they offer um, particular comedy training, um, improvisation in particular. So people who really want to, to sort of get a, an advanced look at uh, how to speak from speak off the cuff, speak impromptu, learn a bit about comedy training, comedy um, timing. I think that's a, it's a really good place to, to learn. Body language training, one of our old speakers, Francois Tessier, uh, he is that, so he'll teach you all about um, body language. And then comedy training in general. So this was not to say that all of us could turn into comedians, but I think uh, people who are stand-up comics uh, typically tend to or have to be very good speakers. So um, that is a, a very good place and a reasonably good price, I think. So for a weekend course, it's uh, 100 quid. So in closing, we look at club resources, Toastmaster resources, other clubs, advanced speakers clubs, um, and speaking engagements that we can, can take care of as well as the skills development. I'll leave you with the last thought, perhaps while all of you are here. Your comfort zone and where the magic happens. You have to get out of your comfort zone for that to occur. Thank you very much. Thank you.